Chaos. 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 Stranger of Paradise is the absolute worst Final Fantasy game I have ever played. It's right in the bottom of the Final Fantasy games. However, it's also one of the best Final Fantasy games. Now you guys are asking me, Monkey, which one is it? Is it good or is it bad? Well, Jimmy, it's none of them. It's in a genre of its own where only, only, only special, <laughs> the special kind of people can play it. We all know I'm the biggest Final Fantasy right out there. Like, I will eat up anything, anything Square Enix stole me. But this, this, I cannot eat this. I mean, I ate it, but now I'm full. What is this trash <laughs> that I also happen to love? Remember, guys, I'm still on Joker mode. Are we still making PS3 games? Did you forget to release this in 2006? How are you going to release a PS3 game in 2022 and charge not 20, <laughs> not 30, not 40, but 60 pounds? 60? And uh, uh, just to sound more rich, and just to sound more rich, 70 dollars! And it runs like 720p. And that's the, and that's the fidelity mode. What does performance mode run in like 16 bit? And the way they used Frank Sinatra as my way is just an absolute crime. Oh, and don't get me started on the story. Oh my god. This story makes Pokemon Arceus look like the Dark Knight. This story makes the original Suicide Squad look like the Avengers. And look at this dead action. This makes Tommy Wise look like Daniel Lewis. This makes Jake Paul look like Floyd Mayweather. Uh, the story makes no sense. It's like they just wrote down anything that came to their heads. Like, like they were on something. They were on something. One minute you're in a castle with kings and queens. And then the next minute you find a Captain Jack Sparrow in the Caribbean. And they got this funky ass pirate song in the background. Why is it so funky? Why, 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 why is it so funky? And look at these characters. <laughs> You might as well have no one there because your the personality is as dry as nothing. So bland. It's like chicken with no seasoning. <laughs> Every time they speak, I'm about to fall asleep. But for some strange reason, get it? Strange, strange of pattern. For some strange reason, I like it. I like it. I, I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is supposed to be a Souls-like game, but they released it two weeks after the biggest Souls game ever. Like, who is going to stop playing Elden Ring to play this? Me! I did! And I regretted it! I regretted it, but not really. This game is so easy, and I played it on the hardest mode. What is normal mode for babies or something? This felt more like a hack and slash than a Souls-like. Which is not a bad thing, but why is it being promoted uh, as a Souls-like? Is it to live off the hype of Elden Ring? What is it? I don't know, but it, it's clearly a hack and slash. You know, it pains me. It pains me to talk shit about this game because I love, I love Final Fantasy. You guys know I love it, but the graphics and presentation are just so bad. But the game... The <laughs> it's actually yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, baby. You know, job yeah. systems have made a comeback, making it very, very addictive to level up all the classes and try out all the different weapons, but each having different abilities. The, the combat has a satisfying feel to it, and the game has a lot of looting. Oh, God. <laughs> So much looting, but I think it adds to the uh, addictiveness and charm. But cleaning out your inventory every time it got full just made me wanna. And as much as I wanted to stop playing, I couldn't. Maybe that's just the fanboy in me. Maybe that's just me. But I was entertaining, and in the end of the day, that's what matters. You play games for entertainment. But don't buy this game for full price. Maybe, maybe for like 25 shimoku. These are also the same people that make Neo. So if you like Neo, you maybe might like this. It's fast paced, more faster than Bloodborne. It's got okay boss fights, nothing spectacular, and it's dark and violent. It's based on the first Final Fantasy world, so no one actually cares. But strictly as a Final Fantasy fan, this is a one time game meaning I will never go back to it but we did get some good memes out of it and uh, let's be honest <laughs> that's all that matters I can see this being one of the Final Fantasy games that have uh, a cult following like Dodge of Cerberus or Final Fantasy 13 or Chocobo GP for the weirdos out there but oh boy this just makes me want Final Fantasy 16 and 7 remake even more now like I need my brain I need my brain to be cleansed after playing this game I, I thought I went blind I had to put on a 4k animal nature video to see what HD looks like again because that's how blurry and ugly this game looks but the best part about this game and I mean the best part that made every every single penny just worth it as the main character Jack who at first seems like the worst character but then he just goes ahead and does this shit so I decided to become a sacrifice I offered myself to the darkness and prayed to become chaos hoping some band of heroes would defeat me and thus bring an end to this empty dream
bullshit. <laughs> and of course, it's got everyone's favorite meme. Chaos. 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 Chaos shrine. Chaos. 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 Who is chaos? What is chaos? Who is it? Like, he keeps looking for chaos. The amount of times this man said chaos is, is abbreviating. And the moment he finds him, the moment he potentially finds chaos, this is what happens. It will remain a dream so long as I live. I am. I don't give a fuck who you are.